Alright, we're waiting on people. Just so that we can get beat. Um, bigger track, so that means I'm even slower than normal. And, uh, it's just all the way in the 12th position. So, new paint scheme did not bring me a bunch of extra speed. Uh, try to get a better view of it. Same paint as we've been doing with the uh, red, white, and two blues, but I think it looks good. Hopefully it races well. This car's a little weird here. Um, doesn't really, I haven't figured out how to get it to turn. Line up on the outside. And Pit road is closed right now. Like, it takes a really wide arc here the to keep the speed SLF up through the center. Just because the straight line speed is so much higher. So you get to the turn and you actually do have to slow down. But, uh, yeah, I'm missing something. As always, we're always missing something in this car. And, uh, we'll just try to solve it. But 50 laps, no cautions. It's actually going to be fairly Still long race. On two cars to grid. 18 minutes. You got Wesley in here. Waiting on the final car to grid. All the way up in fifth. Didn't recognize any other names, but you know that I forget someone's name instantly if they're not constantly racing in our league or on the forums. Even in they're on the forums, I forget them because half the time they don't have their racing name, or on Discord. Practically a forum. Um, still waiting on someone. I had to skip seven minutes of recording because everyone was taking forever and didn't want to qualify. Now they're sitting waiting to not grid. Everyone's gridded. So, we've just got to keep it alive. We're gonna we're gonna lose I rating unless they wad them up. The car is a bit loose, so it's a possibility. But if it happens, we're gonna be in it because we're at the back. Only out qualified one person, but hopefully I can learn something here and get a little quicker. But Right now, everything just doesn't make sense to me. Because uh, it's kind of feels like a whole different car here. But it could be that everyone goes really loose later on with how loose this thing is on exit when you're pushing it. Or that could just be me driving it bad. One left to green. But we'll see if the higher speeds cause a little uh, tire dig at the end of it. If we get to the end of it. It's hopefully a good race. About to go green. Stay focused. You never know what you're going to get with this series. Mostly Class A's in here, so you can't blame it on it being a D series other than no cautions. One of the cars going up the track, they're three wide up ahead of us. Seven car didn't know they were three wide. Still inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear inside. We're getting runs off the corner, but now the six car is holding us up, so we're not going to get that run off the corner this time. But as you can see, it is a little loose. I'm just going to stay up top here right now. Behind getting really loose. Alright, we're kind of settling here. Try to be gentle. 
on exit because you can see everyone is getting sideways. And if that continues, that right rear is going to get hot and go away, even though you have unlimited grip in this car. 21.99. Pace is a little slower than I thought it would be, so that's good news. If they were all doing sevens like they did in Q, we'd be in trouble. But as they spread out, they might start getting that fast. Okay. Not sure what happened there, if the 15 hooked himself or if the 3 got him, but... He'll definitely have some hot tires after that big slide. No cautions in the series, so you just gotta hope you're lucky in where they happen. Which that one, we were very lucky that it didn't stack us all up. Looks like everyone's keeping the right rear under it now, so I don't think uh, loose off is going to ever become a thing. I think you got to sense everyone's so used to overdrive and entry that they're going to wear that right front enough to keep it from going loose. But we're in ninth. Not feeling completely out of it. Making a pass, though, is going to be pretty tough. Even if we are faster than someone, which I don't think we will be. I just got to try to find some something out here that makes me a little bit quicker. The guy behind us that got turned looks to be catching us. A class B 3.0. I think we'll just try to get him past as quickly if he does, but now I'm getting super loose. He just hit the wall behind us, so maybe he won't get to us. down which is not helping my loose off let's try to drive it in shallower and see if that puts more pressure on the right front which helps our balance off the corner now attitude is just rough no matter what line, so I just need to be smarter on throttle. Out of four, it doesn't happen, but... Well, we're not the only one spinning out of two. It nearly backs up into the field. Takes us up to eighth. Maybe the right rear will come into play. I don't think there was any contact there. Or he just got loose and then there was contact. struggling out of two, so that makes me feel a little better. Well, everyone in our area of the track, doubt the fast people are dealing with it. Behind us, still gaining little by little.
seven cars starting to drop off a bit. Kept it a little straighter off the corner that time. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here out of two. I'm going to get ready to dodge everyone getting hooked into the outside wall. Nope, doesn't happen. Well, it does, but doesn't. Car outside, you're on the bottom, three wide. Still there. Car outside, two wide. Outside, All right. Took advantage of that. Didn't quite happen like I thought it would, but... Seven kind of just five, caught himself out, and then the six was trying to dodge him, and they both lost time. Now the seven's really falling apart back there. Fifteen is just so much quicker than us. But I feel like I'm a little more stable out of two than everyone behind us, so... Chasing it up the track there with our lower entry. Now the 15 and the 3 were the two that got together. I don't think the 15 is going to be able to catch him, but when the 15 gets here, we have no point in racing him. He's quicker than us. I think he's going to fall off, but maybe not. He's just doing way better than us, so give him the spot so we don't lose a bunch of time racing each other because we're pulling away from the guys behind. So. And there's no point in me having him right up my ass as we get loose or something out of two. Time into three. Just try to let him go if he gets a good run off the corner. Yep. Go low. Just gonna go high here. I know y'all are screaming, race him, but there's certain situations where it's smart to race, and we're not gonna hold that guy off for half the race. He tracked us down from a big spin multiple cars back. He was like a second back. The guy is quicker. Nothing we can do about it. Just don't lose time racing him. Seven's gained on us a tiny bit, but I think we're about dead even with him. We just need him to have another big moment with his right rear. Fifteen's doing cut down. I think that only really benefits you in three and four, but now the seven is flying. Twenty-two point two eight nine. 
And now the 15's starting to lose it, but the 7 had a bad moment behind us. Alright, 20 to go. So bad off the corner and through the corner and on the entry to the corner. Bet we could compete if there was just straight away. Surprised though the 15 has and pulled away after getting around us. But maybe I've just kind of started following in his tracks and we've evened out with him. I have had to start pushing it a little more to keep the 7 away from us. Actually, a surprisingly clean race for uh, this car. There wasn't really just stupid moves happening. It was just people getting loose. I mean, not sure what happened with the 15 and the 3, but we'll see afterwards. The 15, though, might be starting to cook his right rear. If you're getting loose off of four, you got in trouble. Two point three. Let's break the wall on the tree a little bit. We've got either a lap car or someone falling off ahead of us. Oh. Wesley maybe falling off hard. Two point three three nine. Tell which car is the one that's going backwards up there. That could make things interesting at the end here if uh, that brings them back to us. It looks like they've got it gathered up. Maybe, was it the 12? Yeah, it was the 12 that they both passed then. It wasn't. Uh, either of those two. So, the 12 has fallen off hard. The 7 lost a bunch of time behind us somewhere. We might have another spot to get. Unless we put it in the wall trying to get too much. And that's what this is. That is a lap car. Nine, Just gonna back it down a little bit. We're not gonna catch the 15. Seven's fallen off. Uh, only hope we have is the 15 tries a really dumb move when he catches the 12. But I just need to not get loose out of the corner. Only nine laps left. So we'll just ease it home, cool off these tires a bit, and make a late push if the seven catches us. But he is struggling behind us in the wall. Twelve, though, is really burnt off his right front. That thing is just shoving out of the corner. happen ahead of us. 15 looking a little risky. He's going to have to try to make a pass. Can he 
hold it down low or where he needs to. The 12 pushing up hard, getting into the wall multiple times. And then the 7 slowly closing in on us. us and he does dump us. What a piece of shit. Absolute loser. There's the flag. It's over. Knew it was gonna happen. Okay, just we'll get him next how time. these people are. Just a fucking absolute loser. Won't even try to pass. Just drive through you for what, nothing place? Just how ovals are. He slammed into us once, I had to save it, and then he just drove through us, because they don't give any fucking respect. Same guy that wrecked the six. Not in control of his car. Not, not gonna put up with a sorry from that. That was two laps in a row. Not gonna accept it. Too bad he didn't wreck himself when he was all over the place. Four gets into the 15. And the three just wrecks the 15. 15 deserved a much better finish than he got, but the three just wrecked him. Ten. Okay, he got down on the apron, so nothing the four could do there. Fourteen loose up into the wall. And the seven loses it on exit, hits the wall, hits the six. So 
Seven drives into the wall again. Apparently that's just what I needed to do, was run into the wall a hundred times on exit. Six into the wall. Don't know what that was. Thirteen into the wall. Twelve. Wrapping the apron there. We saw the eight was wrecked. Comes up, but no contact there. But does the 13 hook him here? Mm, the 8 hooks himself. Nothing the 13 could do there. Six going around the outside of the 11. Us just showing us being bad. a guy that he wrecked himself on. Yeah, just losers. And then he drives down in front of the leader after wrecking himself. Thought this was going to be a wreck, but 17 kept it out of the wall. Six in the wall. Eight going to the pits where he belongs and it doesn't even show ours. Let's go take a look at it. He's slower off the corner. We go into the corner, he just full sends it, runs into us, and then finishes us off. But he'll gladly take that spot, because that's what he wanted. Just people that are fucking clueless, have no racecraft whatsoever, so they don't know how to pass. Alright, let's take a look at the results. So we lose 53i rating, safety rating stays the same, and, uh, yeah. That's what you get for racing stupid cars. So, easy car on a free track, but just annoying. Should have finished 7th. Oh well. Thanks for watching.